well, kind of long time no talk. Too long time no talk. But I'm back, I'm here. And honestly, I just haven't really felt excited about homemaking recently. Laundry and dishes, right? It never ends, especially dishes. But I'm getting back on, back on the wagon. <laughs> and I'm doing this thing. So the house is not in great order, perfect order, okay? But we're going to ignore that for this video because today we are doing six places that I forget to clean, that you probably forget to clean, that I got out of a Pinterest article. There were like 24 places and I was like, let's narrow that down. Light switches and outlet plates, remotes, trash cans, shower heads and faucets, and the dishwasher filter. And I've already planned in what order we're going to do this. First thing we're going to do are the trash cans because I don't wanna do that at all. That's the one that I'm least looking forward to. So we're gonna go ahead and get it out of the way first. There are a couple things that need to like soak or have your cleaner on for a bit, but I wanna get the trash cans out of the way. So that's what we're gonna do. You buddy, looking at you. Let's do it. have been doing some research about how to get to this filter because I could not figure it out. It does not look like any dishwasher I've ever seen. At the old house that we lived in before we moved here, the one that we rented, I cleaned the filter pretty regularly because the dishwasher was so old and junky that it didn't work very well to begin with. So I wanted to make sure that it was in the best condition possible, but I haven't cleaned this one yet. And I highly doubt that it has ever been cleaned since it was installed. So the video that I found said, take out the dishes, take out this rack. I'm not taking out the dishes that I literally just loaded this so I could soak this in the sink. So you do need a power tool though, cause there's 13 screws. All right. This is like pieces of a sticker because for some reason the previous homeowner washed new dishes that still had stickers on in the dishwasher instead of taking the sticker off first. I don't know where they thought that the paper went. Um, but yeah, okay, let's clean this. So we're gonna let that soak in there with just like half a pump of dish soap just for a little bit because some of it is like it's really gross and I just feel like some warm water and some soap will help it to loosen up and make the scrubbing job less strenuous. So we're gonna leave this for now and move on to our next thing. Also, this was such a pain in the ass. I had no idea it was going to be this time consuming and this difficult and I think that Samsung is so stupid for making a dishwasher like this. If you have this dishwasher also, you have my sympathy. Holy crap. Moving on, let's see what's next on our list. I saw this thing online as I'm sure that you have also about mixing warm water and white vinegar and a little bit of baking soda and putting it in a plastic baggie and tying the baggie around the shower heads. We have two showers in this house. I'm going to do it to both of them. I would also like to do it. Do you see? That's gross. Yeah, I should really do it to that too. We're going to focus on the shower heads first and I'm going to get my plastic baggies ready. Okay. said four cups vinegar, one cup water, half cup baking soda, but I think that I'm gonna do that in half because that seems like a lot and do two cups vinegar, half cup water, and fourth cup baking soda. Oh my god. Why am I so 
so bad at this. Good enough. Okay, so this one does not disconnect from the wall. Um, so let's see what happens. Uh -huh. Wish me luck. Good enough. Now for the soap spots, not soap spots, the hard water spots, on the faucets, primarily in the master bath. I'm gonna try making a paste out of vinegar and baking soda, but I don't know how it's gonna work, but let's see. Getting pasty. Let's go put it on stuff. So as you can see, um, quite a bit of stainage from the hard water. So let's slap this on. Okay. Let us see what happens. I'm going to drain this and scrub it. I was, just, I was just about to ask you if you if you needed some help that I could. Thanks, baby. But well, you're capable. You got it. Oh, thanks, babe. So look at the shower heads. Okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that every single little thing in there is uh, open now, which was not the case before. Also, there are still some water spots on some places that I think that I didn't put thick enough paste on. Okay, this definitely got uh, the best of me. Holy shit. I did not expect it to take so long and for it to be so much work to do these things. But alas, we are, we are done. This video is coming to a close. And I do want to say that if you saw me cleaning the light switch and you thought, you know, like 
I bet that she didn't do that to every light switch plate and every outlet cover plate in her house. You're damn right. I did not. It's, did you see me taking apart that filter with a power tool? Uh, leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Let's do it again soon. Thanks for being here. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.